Hi Pisces, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Spirit, what are the messages for Pisces, please? What are the messages for Pisces? Ooh, Pisces, Will of Fortune, the lovers. Could be dealing with someone with a strong Gemini placement. We also have Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. So like a faded destined connection partnership here. Two souls coming together is what I'm getting or something big with the will of fortune. Okay. Um, those of you that are single, there is a big change happening in your love life, but this relationship that you're involved in is taking a turn for the better. The will of fortune is turning in the favor of this connection. Okay. Nine of cups. Wow. Okay. That nine of cups talks about dreams coming true, wishes fulfilled, Knight of Swords, some fast communication coming in. This person is very interesting. So there's somebody here that could be very defensive, okay? Or, you know, the type of vibe they give me is like at your service, uh, you know, coming in to rescue. Um, this is very fast. This is happening very fast and swift. And I'm just getting like somebody wants to sweep you off your feet. Okay. It's almost an energy of wanting to prove themselves to you. Prove. Prove themselves to you. Okay. So this person could definitely be quick at your defense. Okay. How do they see Pisces right now? How do they see you, Pisces? Okay. They could see you as successful. They see you as a six of wands. They could see you as someone who gets a lot of attention. I feel like they like that. But there's something about that they like. Okay. Um, how do they feel about Pisces? How do they... Well, the higher fence wanted to come out. It's this Taurus energy. We're not going to take these cards. Um, comes out again. It's meant to be. I have a pentacles. Yeah. Can be some insecurities here. Let's see. Three of swords. The world. Two of wands. Four of pentacles. They're worried about something. Some of you guys, they're worried about the future. Hopefully they're not worried how other people see the relationship. Um, some of you, that may be the case. Hmm. How do they feel about Pisces, please? The tower, Scorpio energy. That That's like reaching a point of no return. They feel they've reached a point of no return. Six of Pentacles in reverse. No, okay. It's almost like they want to take something back here. I'm not quite sure what that is. Six of Pentacles in reverse. When it's upright, it's kind of like somebody giving you a gift or support. Somebody may have said something to you with the tower, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. They may have done something or said something without thinking. Because the Knight of Swords is all about, you know, wanting to explain. Okay. 
somebody here may want to take something back that they did that maybe it hurt you maybe they said something that hurt you for some of you guys they may have been running from you or running from this relationship But they're definitely recognizing, seeing you as a six of wands, you know, they recognize how great of a catch you are. And so it's like, they want to come and catch you. <laughs> okay. All right. They, you know, the tower, they've reached a point of no return. There's no going back. It's like somebody here is in love with you. Okay. But I can't help but feel like somebody here may have done or said something that they wish they could take back. All right, I'm not quite sure the specifics on that. Something that may have brought the connection out of balance. For some of you guys are trying to prove a point. Okay, they want to prove a point here. Let's see. Yeah, three of swords. Somebody definitely caused you to have some fears, worries, or anxieties here. Maybe you were seeing this person as rejecting you as a person or as rejecting you as a lover. Okay. Do the devil in reverse. Starting to feel kind of like unattached because of this. Hmm. Death in reverse, Scorpio Capricorn energy. It's like giving me deepest, darkest fears. Like somebody wants to come in and wipe away your deepest, darkest fears. To bring this connection back to life or to breathe life into the connection, whatever that means for you. But I definitely see you releasing this worry. And I feel like they're coming to release it. Or they have come to release this worry. Whatever you were worried about. Whatever you were hurting about. Because it does look like, you know, they may have caused you some type of pain here. Okay. And they want to come in and, and release this worry from you. And sweep you off your feet. And show you how important you are to them, Pisces. Okay, what do they want from Pisces? What do they want from Pisces? Ten of Cups. Well, a relationship, a family. Uh, they don't only want a relationship. They want a peaceful, harmonious partnership here. Aries energy. They want to provide stability here. Somebody could be older than the other. There could be an age gap. Um, doesn't have to be. Six of Swords in reverse. Kind of like someone here wants to change your mind about something or show you another side of them. Very protective over you, Pisces, believe it or not. Yeah, Four of Pentacles, very protective over you. Almost to, kind of possessive, all right? Just a little bit, let's see. This person may have a tendency to attract chaos, okay? Um, not quite sure what kind of chaos, but it's almost like Six of Swords in reverse. There's kind of like an energy of them swimming in rough waters here. 
And you bring them a sense of peace, Pisces. There's uh, a lot of, um, yeah, of course. There's a lot of indication this person wanting to provide you with stability and connect. They want it to last. They want this love to last. Yeah, no, someone can be a little overprotective, right? Just a little bit. Knight of Wands. Impulsive. Somebody jumps to conclusions. You may not know this yet, but you will. They like to jump to conclusions. Very impulsive. Clearly they find you very special here. You know, with the Knight of Wands, I know like typically uh, what people say about the Knight of Wands. However, the other cards, I want you to pay attention to the other cards that are out here, okay? That's how I am interpreting the Knight of Wands because they clearly want to provide you with some sort of stability. A little possessive. Somebody may get... Um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and predict like somebody getting... Uh, I don't want to say jealous, but it's feeling a little jelly. Um, somebody here might... Um, want to claim you and hold, they're holding on to you very tightly. And it's almost like someone coming to your defense or somebody here and Paul, like, I feel like this person attracts chaos and I feel like they're very impulsive. And I also feel like they're very protective over what is theirs, especially when it comes to love and connection. Could be a Sagittarius for some of you guys. They're definitely impulsively, uh, doing something here. Kind of like on a whim, possibly to show you their dedication with the Four of Wands. It's a celebration though, right? Three of Cups. So you guys may be mad about something. Maybe their lack of uh, initiative. I'll put those cards back. Let's see. What is... <laughs> What is the outcome, Spirit? What is the outcome, please? What is the outcome? We're not going to take these, but something here is moving forward. After a conflict. What is the outcome? Hmm. What is the outcome? Working together, building something. Three of Pentacles. Building or rebuilding because the tower's here. <laughs> okay, may need to rebuild after the tower falls here. Ooh, Nine of Swords. Somebody needs to get some sleep, all right, with that Nine of Swords. They're restless over this, guys. They're restless over building something. This person could suffer from anxiety. Who doesn't? The High Priestess, there you are. You know, that Three of Pentacles, to me as a reader, can also indicate something online. This High Priestess energy, this is your energy. You're heavily on their mind. You're heavily their focus here. I see a big reveal. Five of Wands. Person might reveal to you uh, something they're struggling with, okay? In the month of September, um, for sure. A connection, this connection is almost telepathic, guys. Like, I feel like you know when this person's having uh, issues, and it's almost like you save them. I hate saying it like that because we save ourselves, but it's almost like you're definitely helping them in some shape or form. And I see this person, I'm getting like cleaning out their closet. <laughs> okay. Their closet, their demons. You two could be revealing your demons with each other your shadow sides, but it's working to benefit the connection. 
I'm getting chills. <laughs> I'm getting chills. Okay. Let's see. We're going to pull one more card. Six of Swords. You know, need, there, this connection needs some healthy boundaries, as all connections do. Um, but that Six of Swords is an indication that this is moving in a positive direction, especially with the Wheel of Fortune that started off this reading. The situation is moving in a positive direction, and I feel like whatever here has been rocky or um, unsettling, things are about to settle down. Um, things might heat up before they settle down, just, just to give you a little warning here. Might be a little bit of chaos before things can settle down, but just remember in the midst of this getting to a better place, okay? You two will be getting to a calmer place. Could be some traveling you guys are doing here soon or that you know you two should could be some traveling to come see each other as well this is general but the general message is the situation calming down eventually <laughs> okay all right those are your messages until next time bye